Hello there, so you have a Nissan Primera P12 and want to check the level of the automatic transmission fluid. Good idea! This fluid lubricates, cleans and cools so the level has to be correct. Either too low or too high can cause the kind of damage that empties your wallet quicker than a dodgy casino. The good news is that it's easy to check the level and I'll show you how. Grab a pen. Welcome to Car Spy TV where we discuss buying, driving, maintaining and selling cars. So, if you like this sort of content, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Right, here's the information you need. On the Nissan Primera P12, there's a dipstick that reveals how much fluid is in the automatic transmission. It works in more or less the same way as any other dipstick. So, you pull it out, then take a reading for the minimum and maximum markers. However, certain conditions have to be met for your reading to be accurate. So, Nissan says drive the car for at least five minutes before you check the level of the automatic transmission fluid. The objective is to get the engine and transmission fluid to work in temperature. For the latter, it has to be between 50 and 80 degrees Celsius. That's between 122 and 176 Fahrenheit. I knew that. Now, park the car on a flat surface as uneven ground can distort the reading and obviously make sure the parking brake is on too. However, don't turn the engine off. Leave it running while you take the reading. Now, Slide the gear stick through its various positions, ending in P for park. Next, find the dipstick in the engine bay. Note that an automatic Nissan Primera P12 has either continuously variable automatic transmission or standard automatic transmission. Mine has the former and the dipstick is down there. Here's a close-up picture. However, if your car has standard automatic transmission, the dipstick's handle and the nearby locking clip look a bit different. Either way, remove the dipstick. To do so on a car like mine, bend the locking clip down, then pull the handle. Now clean the dipstick to remove any fluid that might provide a false reading. If you're like me, this is the point the fluid magically transfers to your hands, clothes and anything else in close proximity, however careful you are to prevent it. So, once you're dirty enough, replace the dipstick. Next, remove it again. Now's the time to take the reading, so let's have a closer look at the dipstick. Note that one side is labelled hot. Here's a picture. The other side is the cold, but is not labelled. Take the reading from the hot side and ensure the fluid is between the minimum and maximum marks. That's either end of this pattern section. So, ignore these cutouts for now. They're the high and low marks, but the cold side. Finally, of course, replace the dipstick. OK, we have a couple of final points to consider. Nissan says to check the automatic transmission fluid level on the cold side of the dipstick if the engine's been warmed up but the car hasn't been driven recently. However, it adds that we should recheck by the hot side later on. So, my personal preference is to only take a reading once the hot side conditions have been met. Furthermore, Nissan says if you want an accurate reading, wait half an hour for the fluid to cool down if the transmission's been working particularly hard. For example, if the car's been driven at high speed for a long time, if it's been in city traffic in hot weather, and or if it's been towing a caravan or trailer. And that's it, job done. We've successfully checked the automatic transmission fluid level on a Nissan Primera P12. Before you go, do me a favor and click like on this video, that helps me out, and leave a comment. Also, check out the Nissan Primera Owners Club, which is a fantastic resource. Find it at www.npoc .co.uk. Right, that's all for now. Just one quick question. How do I get transmission fluid out of a shirt? <laughs>